okay uh, so how, how can we go about coming up with a reduction formula uh, this one does not only ha has to do with uh, cosine but uh, there's another uh, there's another function that has been added where it's like a product of two functions we have an algebraic function as well as uh, a trig function so how do we go about this one so uh, looking at the way it is it's just a matter of uh, integrating by parts it's just a matter of you knowing which one you're going to pick as your u and which one you're going to pick as your as your uh, as your d uh, dv okay so in this case uh, following this order l i a t e called liate so in this case the uh, the algebraic function comes first so meaning our u will be equals to x to the power n which is our which is our algebraic function meaning our du i mean our dv uh, will be equals to cosine of x so our du will be equals to n x n minus 1 then our v is simply equals to sine of x okay so multiplying u by v that is simply x to the power n uh, sine x minus integral of um, du by v or v du is simply uh, n x n minus 1 uh, sine x of course this is dx sorry so we have our dx there okay so what are we able to do with that So, um, reaching this stage, uh, we can we can bring out the the coefficient, which is our n in this case. We're going to have this will be equals to x to the power n sine x minus you have your n integral of x to the power n minus one sine x uh, dx. So, uh, right here we are we are able to we can. We're able to work. We're able to work with it the way it is. But maybe we can also uh, do something as well. Like we can do something else with what we have. We can still integrate this part um, by parts again. Okay. So that means uh, that means in this case we are going to set our u again to be equals to the algebraic function, which is x to the power n minus one. Then our du will be equals to sine of x. Okay, so uh, our du will be equals to n minus 1, then our x will be equals to n minus um, x to the power n minus 2. Then our v in this case will be equals to minus cosine of x. Okay, cosine of x there. So remember to say uh, this integration by parts that I'm doing is not for the whole part here. It's just for what I have at this point. Okay, that's the just the only integration by parts that I'm doing. So it's more like um, we have dealt with this part using integration by parts, and we can bring it together. So here uh, we have this being equals to x to the power n uh, sine x there. So remember to say we had. Um, we had the minus, okay. We had the minus there, then with an n. So n there, then I'll say open bracket. Then we integrated everything that we had by pass. So that would be our u by v. That would be minus x to the power n minus one. Then our v is uh, cos cos x, and that's where the negative is coming from. Then minus integral of um, uh, v du. Of course, we have a negative here. Then I also have a negative there that will become a positive. Then, um, of course, I have this coefficient. I think we can uh, put it outside in advance, of which that is uh, n minus 1. Then the integral of um, x to the power n minus 2. Then we have a uh, cosine of x dx. Okay, so now we have found out to say. Um, the integral of x to the power n of x to the power n multiplied by uh, cosine of x dx is simply equals to we can say it's uh, x to the power n sine x. Then you are going here. You are going to have uh, distributing that n with what we have, whatever that we have inside there. That is simply 
uh, that will simply be plus n x to the power n minus 1 cosine of x then minus n n minus 1 integral of x uh, we have n minus 2 uh, cosine of x dx and uh, that's our um, reduction formula there that has to do with um, two functions uh, of which one is an algebra algebraic function which is um, uh, x to the power n and the trick function which is uh, cosine so that's how you come up, that's how you come up with uh, that reduction formula thank you very much for watching